Happy Friday the 13th! This is Yurgita with Magic Palm Crafts and uh, I was thinking possibly bringing something like a, you know, the mask that uh, Jason wore, you know, in the movie. If you see in the movie Friday the 13th. Uh, but the only thing I had is coriander where you drain the stuff so it's red so I didn't want to scare you so. So anyway, Happy Friday the 13th. It's hot 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 outside and here in the midwest of the usa right now uh it's been showing um about 98 degrees fahrenheit 37 celsius and of course that's what it's showing and i know europe is like drenching in the rain in some parts and we're desperately desperately need rain few storms we had it was totally not enough i think the earth just soaked in and said that's like a breakfast to me kind of thing you know so so yeah not going outside tanning or anything it's way too humid too in the san luis area kind of thing so yeah it's been about uh, six weeks or one and a half months i haven't counted exactly how long since my last video so i was a little bit preoccupied in the first part of july so i'll tell you all about it so, um, if first uh, in my in this um, episode will be um, my life update what i've done all this time and what i've seen where I traveled and then I'll go into my projects, whips, finishes that I've done, not FFOs, just finishes because I'm too lazy to stop and do FFO right now. And then I got a few nice new pretties for me, precious pretties. So yeah, okay. So since the last time I talked to you, it was very very beginning of June so uh, in uh, June it was uh, Father's Day and um, I'm from Lithuania so in Lithuania we always have like a second Sunday of the month as a Father's Day so I get to celebrate uh, Father's Day twice um, in US is uh, like um, in the beginning of the month <laughs> very first days and then later on I get to celebrate uh, with my dad via you know messenger skype videoing not in person sadly um he lives far far away that's why it's partially called magic pond crafts because sometimes we call the giant ocean atlantic ocean as a big pond right so that was in the beginning of june then um, my daughter was signed up to go to Girl Scout day camp for a whole week and I spent half of that time uh, with her and other girls of her age and it was luckily not raining. Unluckily it was kind of still hot but maybe not that bad as right now. So yeah lots of sunscreen and uh, bug spray stuff like that but we had fun. Um, girls they're brownies girl scouts are like brownies age so like second third grade and they had to cook parts of their food themselves with uh, adult supervision of course and um, there was like a family day at the end of the week and um, i brought my um, older sons with me they didn't complain too much um, <laughs> so I watched the boat race which was those little boats were um, done by uh, taking a cardboard boxes cutting out the shapes older girls um, were in charge of the project so we kind of had a few of the girls assigned to each of little um, like a troop group and they were um, entertaining and doing games and all kinds of stuff so they cut out the cardboard boxes in um, like a boat shape you know um, things and the sides to cut out and used lots of duct tape and literally girls were sitting in the boat made out of the cardboard box and the duct tape in a little part of um sort of like a pond lake that was made man-made i believe so um 
the deepest part it goes for um, girls, you know, maybe up to the neck and they're like small girls. So there was no possibility of anybody drowning. Even when they went swimming, there was always plenty of dolls and big girls to watch over them. And they did racing between different groups and they decorated their boats. Um, I might be able to insert pictures. I might be able to get. not well it's still it was fun um and there were some songs sung so it was kind of fun and we had a little walk around and the only condition building was where the bathrooms and uh, kitchen was so <laughs> everything was outside or under like pavilion roof so that was kind of fun something different um then I found out that my dad needs to have a heart surgery, um, so they would open him up, and he's been going uh, to surgeons and talking, and we're waiting. I'm planning to fly there back home when he's scheduled to do that. Not sure if I can uh, take the kids with me since it seems like it's not going to happen in the summertime. So I'd hate to disrupt the school, especially since... Boy, both boys are in the last years of their parts of a school, like middle school and the high school. So we'll see when when it happens. But um, then I'm, I might ask for some prayers and good thoughts uh, for him and the recovery. Then let's see. I had to do all my boys and my husband haircuts. So, you know, summertime, it's hot. Boys get sweaty, especially when they're, you know, teenagers. So off the zip zip with the machine and scissors and uh, worked on all three of them. And seem, they seem happy, you know. So I did some practice and I don't think I've ever taken my boys and oldest is about 18. And I don't think I've ever taken them to a uh, barber to trim their hair. Maybe very, very first time when uh, uh, we got the little snip of the hair and the little certificate saying hey it's your first haircut you know kind of um for memories right um let's see what else i've been doing um speaking about the schools uh for the fourth of july week almost a whole week uh, my husband was able to take a few days off so we went up north by lake michigan in Indiana to uh, visit my mother-in-law and um, other relatives on my husband's side and uh, we stayed with my um, best friend back, all the way back from Lithuania she lives in the same town lucky for me so we stayed at their place but uh, we had uh, two university tours um, in two consecutive days. One was three hours away from there, another was two hours away. So in that weekend, week, we drove about 1500 miles. I don't know in kilometers how much it would be. I didn't calculate, but it was a lot of time spent in the car and I don't like long rides, totally not. But um, one of the schools we went check out was uh, Michigan University, and we went on the North Campus, which is different than Central Campus, which is like in downtown. So North Campus, it's all greenery, it's very quiet, and we had a long two-hour tour, lots of walking, but we saw cool stuff like nano laboratory. We saw actual students working there and uh, all kinds of other things, you know, man-made planes of different types and, uh, and uh, where they practice and when they build like a super fast cars and the solar cars uh, as their little groups can do of students. So it was fun. And then visited um, the guy who was like a matchmaker to us. So he just turned 94, so he was like three hours away from that point, so we, we thought, you know, everybody's aging, it's good to visit since it's 
closer than from our home. So visited him for a few hours. Um, and then came home like at midnight, came back at midnight to my friend's house. And next day, me and my son only traveled to another university in um, Indiana. And we toured that place. And uh, uh, it was lots and lots of traveling. At least kids got a chance to go to the beach at uh, the lake and play a little bit in the water while we were doing stuff and helping out my mother-in-law. Uh, with some organization so there was a lot of driving one good thing also came out we stopped by a uh, Fannie Mae's candy store they have their um, just their candy in the store so we got some candy chocolate dark chocolate yummy love it dark chocolate so uh, I'm going <laughs> away from that theme what else I'm looking at my list uh, singing my chorus had uh, we had open house it was great turnout even though it was storming outside and I think I've mentioned that um, we're trying to get like a quartet a little group going out in different locations and singing one of two songs something maybe different than uh, what in our chorus repertoire and we did it a few days ago we went in um, sort of a New Orleans style jazzy restaurant that they have a little stage and there is a band playing um, and they do open mics nights. So um, that was some amazing, terrific, you know, guitar players, drummers that were going up on stage and singing and playing and it was so loud. We were sitting literally by the stage, a group of us. And uh, we, and of course, you know, when the music plays loud, people talk loud. And uh, when we went up on the stage, you know, we don't use instruments. So seven of us, I think it was seven of us, stood uh, surrounding the microphones and um, we started singing and you literally can hear just all the voices like the noise quieting down, down, down. Practically nobody was talking. <laughs> partway through the song because it was so different and we sang Sinatra, one of the Sinatra songs and um, uh, other slower song. So um, we got lots and lots of uh, shouts and applause because it was, you know, something different, but it's also musical. So we kind of mingled with some people and we talked to uh, those uh, band players a lot, you know, and uh, the guy, one of the guys said that they used to have even magicians come and perform on open mics, but a while ago, and nobody's doing anything different except, uh, you know, playing instruments. So he was very happy that we came in in there. So I got home again, like around midnight. Um, but it was fun. We'll be doing it again. And we're planning another open house for with the chorus. Um because it was so successful first time it was fun to do uh let's see what else so i'm not gonna miss anything um okay so uh one more thing non-stitcher related i've been yapping for a while since you guys helped me out so much with um finding out the movie tile title I be, I've read the book a long time ago, again, here in U.S. Um, it was in English about, the story was about um, sort of like a librarian or, or something that uh, stumbled upon information and then w decided to go in search, uh, research about uh, like a Dracula clan, um, and I don't remember exactly what it was called or who wrote or like the whole story. It was just something interesting that caught my ear and, and inserted in the brain that I still remember about that many years ago. And it's the traveling were, was around uh, dry, um, Europe there, of course, you know, and the Dracula, the mystery, and um, yeah, I don't remember, don't remember all the, uh, you know, um, happenings in that book, but maybe that would ring a bell with uh, 
anybody you know some of you maybe so even if something seems similar um could you please put down uh, give me the name i would read all of them if anything sounds similar what i've described to you okay so that's it with uh, non-stitchy related stuff you know so uh from now stitchy stuff in the last six weeks i worked on 12 different projects and I finished four of them if you count uh, my giant Washington Crossing uh, page as a finish which I do you know each page is a page right so finish um, so I'm gonna show you um, what I've done in those times so I'm gonna have to get it all exactly and I might have to do some pausing so you don't hear a lot of uh, moving and rumbling and stuff so I'm not gonna do like in a row 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 exactly but what I have sitting okay I'll pause okay so one of the projects I worked on was I believe started in stitch mania is from cross stitch and needlework November 2014 magazine is this give thanks small itty bitty I'm stitching on 40 count fabric that I bake and baste dyed and that's what I have right now so I'm using all the wigs dye works um, threads right now and uh, it looks like he's about ready to cook so his body is pretty much I believe all finished and I started on a big giant pumpkin so it looks even smaller than the me. Whoops. Well, you don't know the all the colors. So it was in a magazine. So it's, it's that's what's going to look. And that's what I'm getting. So, of course, in the, I believe the majority of the patterns in magazines, pictures are taken with the flash. So it appears lighter than it actually is. So... I had to do some little bit adjusting to that. Then another thing I worked is Heaven and Earth Designs uh, Beloved uh, by Adele Sessler. So it's this one with all my writings with pencil marks. And I'm stitching this, if you um, remember, on the 14 count uh, soft Ada that I dyed myself to kind of darken and that's what I have right now so I'm working towards his hair from far it looks good and I'm doing that four over one um, continental sort of half stitch um, so it's gonna be big and it's gonna go on my two-story window I mean wall um, so yeah so that's what I've done like around here by his nose and his like tattoo so it's gonna be a lot of darkness until I finish and then it's gonna go down so again it's not gonna be seen you know up close like you study a little picture so when you look from far away it looks like a picture you know when you look up close you see, especially in the blacks, all those in between kind of things. And DMC 310, as we know, doesn't co cover as well as the anchor. But um, after washing and hanging from far away, nobody will be able to tell, right? But just this eyes, those longing eyes, it just calls to me, you know, to the stage. So that was one of the giant ones. Then I had this Pine Mountain Designs, also I believe from um, uh, Stitch Mania start that I bought it at the library sale. So it's I called it Witch's Brew since there was no specific name for it. So that's what it is. And I didn't stitch a lot, a lot. Um, all the threads were like included and little buttons are there. So... I got some progress. I'm not in a big hurry to stitch, but since today is the 13th, I might work on this more. 
So that's what I've done so far. And um, there's going to be a button in here. As you can see, like if I bring it like this way about goes. So it's a lot of more writing to happen. And I know by the end of the year it will be done. Or by Halloween. It will be done. Do not fret, my lovelies. It will be done. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. So that was that. I need to pull out a couple more. Okay. So uh, one of the... Another Stitch Mania starts was Brooks Books. A free uh, pattern called Stitcher's Alphabet. It's sort of like a sample like that. And I started on letter A. And I used... I used 28 count some kind of fabric. And I'm going to be doing all of it. It's like it's going to be five across and down. So that's what it looks like from far. That's what it is right now. So... I already started to do some beading. All the stitching is done, so we just need to do some more beading in the empty spots. So that's what letter A looks like it. It's very fun to do, fairly quick. And there's already back stitching done. So it's a Stitcher's Alphabet by Books Brooks. She has it on her website. You can uh, I believe there might be stitch alongs going on or like Facebook or group or something. I'm not sure. And then, of course, I tried to work on Lady of the Flag. I know it was a big thing happening on um, Facebook and the different websites and the stores. People going crazy over the uh, reprints uh, limitations. But... I did not finish by the 4th of July. I'm hoping to do by 9-11th, which is uh, what it was created for, if I remember correctly. So I'm working on the bottom. I've already do been doing some beadings from about the mid-waist of her. And um, We the People Fabric is here. So I haven't backstitched yet, of course. It's a band that's going to be saying like Liberty or something like that and already been using um, Sparkle Acrynic in here so you can see the sparkling so I'm slowly working and uh, this one has a sparkle uh, well up here it had also a different type of crying so it will be done this year that's for sure so that's my lady that everybody knows i uh, know there's all kinds of um conversions right now going on uh with her um i don't know i might decide sometime in the future to do a conversion of her not sure so that was that then washington crossing my big giant baby I'll insert a picture of what it's going to be like when all 112 of us is done. Actually, I found out that uh, one of the stitchers already passed away suddenly. Um, so it was very sad to hear, but um, that's why we all were encouraged to put... Um, in case of emergency, to contact the um, uh, Heather main lady in charge of this project, so all of this work wouldn't go um, and be thrown out, or you know, because it just doesn't look like a picture, right? Your part, so somebody else uh, is gonna have the honor of continuing her um, work. We started in February twenty second. Some of the ladies. Uh, with all the changes got uh, a little bit later, I believe, um, or started on the 4th of July. I know at least few of them started with that occasion. And um, I have a piece of the sky. And in the month of June, I finished two pages total. So that's what I have. 
So it doesn't look like much of anything. And like I said, it's uh, just a big piece of sky. And uh, all of the width is going to end where it's gridded. That's the end of the row. And that's beginning. So, so that's what's going to look. And of course, it goes down quite a bit. Um, by my calculations, I have to finish about over one and a half pages a month to, to be on track. If I want to just do that and work on something else so I wouldn't go make myself crazy just working, working, working on that one. Because as you can see, the colors, I mean, you know, it's... It's monotonous job and it's on the 18 count um, and there are rules, you know, you can't do loop methods. So you want to make sure it's still tightly in the back so it wouldn't get loose by accident when we wash it, you know, because it will be all put together in a big giant picture of the Washington Crossing. Then what else did I... Okay. I'll, um, one of the items was, um, from round robin. It's my very, very first ever round robin I'm participating in and I finished it and I sent her out and I'll show you what I chose from her big picture little thingies, what I chose to do. I'll put it in here. And it, didn't, it, it took me just a couple of days to do it. Uh, at first, I thought I finished, and then it's like that corner looks a little bit weird. And uh, it turns out I needed like three more stitches. I don't know how I missed that part. But I picked that Jingle Bells because my name starts with a J. Um, not why. In America, of course, J's and G's are not, you know, it's... If you see J, which way it would be for you? This way or this way? No, it would be this way. So, you know, for us, it's Y sound. Um, so, yeah, that was another finish I've done. And I'll bring a couple more. So, one of the projects I'm doing with my Lithuanian Facebook group is uh, comparing like original dimensions with Chinese uh, version reprinted. And um, so I'm doing Chinese version and this is the kit, um, Snow Leopard. And it's on a pre-printed fabric that I've been working. You might not be able to tell, maybe you would. And this is how wide it's gonna be and on the bottom it tells you the symbol and uh, what number uh, on the color uh, thread it was given and even what uh, DMC threads you can use it if you want to substitute. But I stuck to very original, you know, what was given. Those threads tend to get a little bit more fuzzier, uh, faster than DMC, but overall it's still going well i'm doing uh two over one this is 14 count so you can kind of from further away you already can start seeing you know his eyes not fully stitched yet but uh snow you want to compare so like like <laughs> that would be like sort of like that you know so it's not as bad as i thought it might be um of course, you know, like if you stitch like a white part and you can kind of still see like color might have been orange underneath, you know, so it's kind of weird to see through, but it will wash out at the end. Like you can see here all those bright colors. That would mean something. So I've been working and you can tell by the back what's been stitched. Um, yeah, I'm showing my backside uh, and... And this one especially, I didn't try to be as perfect. I'm trying not to use up too much thread just in case um, it might not be enough because, you know, it's a kit. Although I can use three um, DMC, but still. Yeah, so 
that's what's in the back and this is what looks in the front and of course you know dimensions usually have a different amount of threads like you could be three over one or like half stitch or something with the back stitches this one is gonna have just a very tiny amount of uh, back stitch um, which I'm gonna do at the very end and um, it's not bad it's good in the car uh, the needle was given big uh, fabric is fairly tough so you can work this fabric um, in hand uh, if you wanted to I just decided to keep I, I loosened up right now on the on the Q-snap but um, it's not bad there's some unevenness in a few areas like lines where uh, color was not printed exactly from a hole to the hole so um, I always look at um, like a um, chart that was given also come on get in and uh, try to compare make sure I'm doing it correctly you can still kind of see you know what is what is what so that's a project I'm participating in and we have to give um, uh, show pictures each month so all right and another work another one I worked is was this one um, I call it stitches tree I think it's more um, like needle workers because I think it's more for those who like to sew versus like a uh, cross stitch um, you know we have a different we have a thimble and the buttons and measuring tape and um, almost said in Russian because it's a Russian designer Pugavica. Um, you have a needle um, spin sticking and the scissors and uh, thread bobbins um, so yeah so this is also gonna have some beads um, and it was pre-designed on, um, on their site and I also took this to work with me on a trip and to that this is how much I've done um, so I made those needle minders myself this one actually I made myself from total scratch um, so and I'm doing this on um, this fabric the picture kind of shows stitched these are like a snowflakes I don't know if you can see and I know on the printed fabric come on zoom in uh, those white dots are uh, like a Smyrna sort of like stitches but I don't know if I'll need them since I have this a fabric that's sort of like a snowflake so I haven't decided if I'm gonna do just add the, those little straight lines in this um, so yeah I already started here like a scissor sh uh, shape handles and this is the bottom so I'm working and I know I'm gonna finish it this year for sure before Christmas so that's all uh, whips I worked on there was another big finish that I did but I'll show you after okay I charged I got it back and that helped me to remember that I had worked on another whip and actually I was working today though so it got darker outside and the one I was working on is the stocking by dimensions gold collection Santa's journey and I've had the video with um, overview of it um, that I'll try to link below if I can remember so I still have a needle sticking in it and this is how much I've done up to this point so um, I haven't done the beads yet the French knots are there and the backstitch are done all the way the bottom up to like around here as you can see kind of stops and the sleeve I started working um, you know I've done uh, most of his head as you can see so yeah he didn't see the shading he looks like a ghost isn't it Ooh, Friday the 13th the Christmas ghost oh big white eyeballs so yeah and um, I've already used some of the gold thread and uh, done couching already so that's what he's looking like and um, 
it shouldn't take too long i should be finished before christmas i don't know if i'll be ffoing it before christmas i might try very hard so as you can see if you can kind of compare them so it's not let's see how to do it's not that much more left it's mostly it's mostly like you know the tree and the sky background which is a half stitch only if you can kind of see um and bunch of little you know french knots and there's going to be some um, i've heard that all those gold beads um not very good quality you know it's like a little plastic things the colored and if you wash it then they're even worse um, some of the girls even, uh, changed the bead, uh, you know, those tiny beads there. And, um, there might be even a couple of jingles in here. I'm not sure if it was included, but anyway, beading is not done yet, but that's what I have left. Not sure if I want to stitch that. I might just sew some like little felt or little fabric on it and maybe write on that so sometime way in the future maybe you know if somebody inherits my family the stocking they can um, change the name or just cover it with something else because i'm not looking forward to all that red stitching this is cross stitched fully that red and uh, no i don't have that much time so i'll do that when the time comes so again, that's my stocking. You kind of kind of tell the shape of it. Um, it's still fun to stitch. It's an 18 count white Ada fabric. It's a little stiff, and I'm done in the whole. It fits in the whole frame, which is there's a 12 by 18 frame. So, so that's my very very current web. And lastly of my whips and finishes i finished uh, dawn by leslie tear bought the threads i had a kid that it had uh, just the uh, beads and uh, gold thread in it and um, chart so that's what the girl is i have a fabric for um, dusk uh, also I, I don't think i've uh, dyed that one yet but this one I'm, I dyed very, very gently. Um, and ta 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 ta, it's all finished. So she's in the full uh, off the frame, not washed yet, uh, not ironed or anything. And she has lots of sparkles. So the fabric is also sparkly, but. Um, yeah, there was lots of like a crinic. The skin is um, done one over one, I believe. Did I do? Yeah, I did the full cross. So all the skin is one over one. It took me forever to do that, but I think it, it makes her look more demure, maybe. So there was also like legs there, and you can see all the sparkles when you wave like that. So my girl is done. It's for my girl um, to hang on the wall in her room. So they're going to be facing, I believe, each other dusk and dawn. So one half is done of the pair. Very excited. And uh, I don't remember if I s uh, signed it anywhere. I thought I did. Now even I can't find it if I did it or not. Hmm. Oh well, I might have to put it in again somewhere out there. If you notice, then good for you, right? So, my finish, yay! Big thing. Took me a while to, to do this. Of course, I didn't do very, very quickly just working on that. Um, the tip, if you've been organizing your threads in a photo storage box, like these white ones I have here 
Uh, you might have noticed that it's hard to find now those uh, snack bags um, like in Walmart they used to carry but now they have those little squared off with the measure so it's tall ones. So I kind of lost hope of finding because I needed a little bit more to put in and um, I found it. So if you're looking still for them, try in the US at least, uh, go like in a dollar store and look for these storage snack bags. So they have that measurement so it's 50 of them for a dollar you know it's yay i was so excited to get to find this finally i've been buying their like a uh, jumbo size which is gallon and half uh, bags to put my projects in to kind of grab and carry and stuff it you can kind of see a little bit like sticking out um and those things um but yeah so check out the dollar stores for these bags if you still need for them and the lastly, I think I'm going to do my um, purchases in separate video. Uh, I just wanted to um, do a big shout out to three amazing ladies teachers. I want, um, it took a while to come to my home. Uh, the things that I won at their giveaway, um, sort of like a past the stash, stitch your kindness uh, thing, share the joy. So... I think I've been uh, I forgot to show last month too so that's how it goes so first one would be with a very nice uh, card uh, from crafty crafty creative Claire <laughs> the the uh, floss tube channel uh, she wrote me a very nice little <coughs> excuse me card and I got this <coughs> amazing um lady i love pretty ladies i love dragons and i know she's she's had a lot of um dragons by Teresa wensler um and it was kind of sad when i found out through her that uh, Teresa just decided to take out all her patterns with the dragons since um i love dragons i'm stitching one of them another half on a hay of hate and weight but i never stitched the Teresa Wensler's uh, dragon so it's gonna be hard to find so I got this um, uh, John Elliott's of course if you can uh, tell by the style um, beautiful lady pattern uh, pamphlet so I'm very excited to stitch um, if you have suggestions for a uh, type of color fabric um, that would be fun just uh, comment below so that was one then another one was Karen Stitches, also from England. I got Passion Ricamo. I believe, maybe I'm mispronouncing it, but sounds Italian, so I can roll my eyes. Ricamo. Um, this giant chart, also from maybe from a magazine. Um, so this lady. And actually, what's interesting that on the back, you can see. It looks to me like the same lady right here but just that like oval form so I don't know if I want to do like a now like full size or try to trim it up make it like that size I haven't decided and uh, she's pretty I like pretties so so that's again Carrie in Karen stitches and then I want a giveaway from so probably everybody of you know Cherise from Denkai Designs. So I want this little cute um, kit with a butterfly. Um, two of my youngest kids uh, had um, shown interest in stitching and even picked the design. She says right now, you know, summertime they got a little bit too lazy. So I'm hoping to to teach at least one of them to stitch this. And it comes with everything included, even the hoop. So that would be easy. And Cherise included uh, free needle minders that she makes. So that's needle minders and very, there's a backing, very sparkly. I love, I do my own backings too, so it's easy to, to take out. So those, and that's her card. If you had never seen it before, so yeah, England was uh, coming my way three times. <clears throat> so that was very exciting. So 
So thank you, ladies. That I've never had uh, that many um, winnings and come in and uh, within a few months' time. So it's very amazing, amazing. Thank you. Um, I'll be doing sometime in the future my own uh, giveaways to pass the stash. So I think that's it. I think about future plans. Um, I don't know what I'll stitch. I'll try really hard to stick to my current whips. But I know uh, one of the, if you've seen previously, one of my little Santas that I stitched and finished, just not FFO'd from, um, from a Christmas book. I want to do two more of the same ones to give to my kids. Um, do like a yearly uh, little ornaments. So now I'll have to add at least those two. So I'm really trying hard to like at least finish one of the current webs to start something different because there's so many nice, great things I want to start like we all, right? So, and I forgot to say, if you stumbled upon this channel first time, welcome. Uh, again, my name is Yurgita and uh, I'm Lithuanian living in America and watching uh, all the stitchers in three different languages, including Russian. So I get to see different, three different countries and their stitchers and their styles because they, um, in filming and what they stitch uh, differs. Um, so that's it. If you remembered what uh, book I might have been talking about or even something close to that please write down the name so I can uh, check it out I would greatly appreciate it and if you have any questions or um, I have a question for you uh, how do you like to see videos more like when filming uh, whips do you like to see like with my face and showing the them in front of this or like a camera facing down like on a table and um, seeing um, all the projects like this and me behind the camera not in front so if you have a preference or you don't um, please comment below in either case and I think that's it I need to check what my kids are doing it's getting evening maybe we'll have some ice cream to cool down a bit because it's still warm even in the air conditioning house um, and I hope uh, those of you who are um, in the hot weather that you stay cool and those of you that are in the colder weather that you stay warm enough and don't get sick and uh, I'll tell the next time probably hopefully in a couple of weeks um, Wait, watch out for my uh, separate video of my new pretties of all types of things um, coming up next. So until the next time, this was Yurgita saying bye-bye. Ata. Ciao. Arrivederci. Uh, do svidaniya. Ata.